Adding Google Analytics in the Next.js has never been so easy guys because Next.js have recently added a new feature that is third party libraries or next slash third parties. It helps you to add the Google Analytics and other third party services in your Next.js application without creating your own script or using the G tags. Earlier if you had to install or add the Google Analytics in your Next.js application, you had to use the Google Analytics G tag or use the Next.js script. Now you can see this is the feature they added third party libraries. So with this you can see you can add the Google tag manager. So you can also add the Google Analytics with the help of this Google tag manager or you can just add the standalone Google Analytics in your Next.js application. So guys this is the official documentation and if you want to read it on my website then you can find the article here or just by searching on my website. So as here I have created a Next.js application and remove the default code and run it in the development mode. And guys this method works only for the latest versions of the Next.js so make sure that you are upgrading your application with the help of this command or if you are creating a new project then make sure you are creating with the latest version of the Next.js to use this feature. So as you can see here I have created this Next.js application with the help of Next.js 15 and now I have started my live server. And guys the next step is to get the Google Analytics ID that is GID that looks like something like this which is start from G. To get a Google Analytics code you have to create a new Google Analytics account analytics.google.com and guys after coming to this website you can create a new account and create a new property by adding your website URL and after that you can get the Google Analytics code and that looks something like this. So this is my Google Analytics code I am going to use it in the further processes and guys the third step is to install the third party libraries in your Next.js application with the help of this command npm install at the next slash third parties and you have to use the latest tag here because it is still in the development mode and there are only few libraries that is supported in the third parties like Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. So now just copy it from here till the third parties. You don't need to use this if you are using the latest version of the Next.js. And now come to your project and create a new cell here and run the command. And it is going to install the third parties feature in your project. So as now the next step or fourth step is to add the Google Analytics code in your project. So this is how you can add the Google Analytics code. And this is the component you can import from the third parties slash Google and use it to integrate your Google Analytics without any manual configuration. And you can see how easy it is. You just need to write one line of code here and we are done. We can record our analytics and see it in the Google Analytics. So let me show it to you. So, so we have to add this in our root layout.js that is f slash layout.js. Here we have to import the Google Analytics component from the third party slash Google. And now we can use this component after the body closing tag. And here we have to pass the Google Analytics ID. You can find your ID the same way I show you. So make sure that you are using your own ID and not mine. Now let's save this project and restart our server. So guys as you can see here my website has loaded and and guys if you inspect this website then you can see a script here that is for the Google Tag Manager which helps us to add the Google Analytics. If you use it for some time like few seconds and go to your Google Analytics account and go to reports and go to real time overview. Then you must see some activity here. So here you can see my real time analytics here. And to make it work you have to make sure that you are using the correct Google Analytics code and make sure to refresh your page multiple times.
and after that it will show it in your real time overview so that's how you can add the google analytics in your next js application without writing the javascript or wasting much of your time and guys this is going to be the go to library after few releases of the next js because it is going to help us to integrate several good libraries without wasting a lot of time and it is by default using the same g tag under the hood so you don't need to worry about the optimizations and performance so guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video and if you have any suggestions for this video or if you have any idea which you want me to make a video on you can write out in the comment box i'll try to make it as soon as possible stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial